Now I will show you how to create your project using the online designer. The online designer has been totally updated with new and much awaited additions. The current version is much more intuitive and user friendly. What I will focus on is the changes implemented into the new version of the online designer. The first noticeable difference is that there are no layouts set as default for the spreads. However, there are a few ways to include them into your spread. Let's start by adding some photos. Now that the images are added, let's go to the Layouts tab. Here you have a number of layouts which you can choose depending on the number of photos you want to include on a page. To select a layout, simply click on it or drag it to the appropriate page. Let's go back to the Images tab and add some photos. I will select three photos holding the Control key. Now I will drag and drop them onto the layout and as you can see it autofills. If you are not satisfied with the current image layout, you can either go back to the layouts tab and select a new layout or you can hover over the layout icon on the left hand side of your album spread and click on the shuffle icon. This shuffles all three image layouts in this case. If you would like to add or subtract the number of images from the layout, the process is very similar. Go to the Layouts tab and simply select a different layout. You can add an image, go back to your previous layout, or subtract an image. The last added image will be deleted. You can also add and subtract images from the layout by selecting the layout icon on the left slash right side of your spread. You can add, go back, and subtract images from your layouts. Resizing layouts. Another improved addition is the resizing of layouts. Select a few photos and drag and drop them onto the page. Select all using your mouse and resize to your liking. Aside the already available backgrounds, you can additionally apply any of your images as a background for even a whole spread. To recrop your images, double click on the image and when you are finished, select Done. To facilitate your designing process, we've added some cool functions under More. Here, you can turn on the bleed slash overfold view, as well as the ruler. When you are finished designing, it's always good to check your project. This option allows you to spot anything you might have overlooked, such as a missing image or low quality image. Any errors discovered by the software will be listed under the Notices tab Clicking Go To redirects you to the object which needs correcting. When you are satisfied with your design, add it to your cart.